Hello and welcome to IBM TV. I'm joined in the IBM TV studio by Lorenzo Zanni, IBM's research analyst. Lorenzo, welcome to IBM TV. Thank you. So you've been at the show for a few days now, you've been walking around. What are some of the trends that you're noticing? Um, especially attending the conferences, I've noticed that uh, in this show, uh, analytics uh, is at the heart of the debate. So um, compared to last year, for example, um, more people are talking about analytics and how uh, successful businesses uh, um, are built on data. So for example, uh, even yesterday at the conference, um, some, um, key, uh, some executives uh, mentioned analytics as um, a key factor in uh, success. And so I think it was uh, talked, talked about a lot. Compared, do you think it's compared the, to previous years. Do you think the analytics gives more chance, more opportunity for monetization? Yeah. Because you've got the more stats to dive into. Yeah, and also for uh, personalization. Uh, yeah. So with OTT, with uh, uh, the likes of Netflix and Amazon, uh, they, uh, they've got a lot of data on consumption patterns. So it, it, it gives um, uh, broadcasters, uh, it gives uh, uh, um, more opportunity to um, delve into consumption patterns and to analyze um, how consumers behave and how they watch video. Okay, so as Ivan's research analyst, you are very much involved in putting together the data which was presented at our State of the Industry yeah. session yesterday. What were some of the sort of top points that came out of that? Um, obviously, confidence in, in the industry is um, um, going down, but this is, uh, we rely on a cyclical indicator so it's very cyclical and um, very much depends on uh, um, like key events so mm -hmm. for example a lot of the sp um, spending uh, has gone down because uh, obviously there, there have been uh, the Olympics and uh, uh, the, uh, the Euro Cup um, but uh, I, I think uh, from the conference uh, We've seen that sales are going down and uh, profit, uh, profits are not doing so well, but obviously uh, it's, it's um, a transitionary period, so uh, th there are a lot of challenges, but there are a lot of opportunities for vendors and service yeah. providers to turn this around. Well, I, I, I was at the session yesterday and I remember at the end um, Peter White, IBM CEO, asked, you know, asked the panel what their thoughts are. You know, the figures were maybe looking slightly down, but they were all positive and upbeat and said, you know, this is a period of transition and change that we need to embrace as an industry and so is that the overall feeling that you're getting from people? Yeah, and also there are a lot of trends, I, I mean, um, the, apart from analytics, also the cloud is a big thing uh, mm -hmm. at this show and uh, a lot of uh, uh, vendors had to reinvent themselves and uh, had to, um, for example, incorporate fun uh, new functionalities in their products and that has been costly to do, so obviously there is, from a financial point of view, uh, the, there are repercussions, but I think uh, this investment and R&D investment has been very high in this industry, uh, is going to um, uh, pay off in, in the future. Okay. You've recently completed the um, IBM Industry Trends Survey. Yeah. What were some of the key points that came out of that research? Um, I think uh, the main highlight was that this industry uh, still very much relies on uh, hardware revenues, mm -hmm. uh, even if uh, um, um, our co the customers, uh, the broadcasters and, and users are uh, moving to uh, soft uh, software defined networks. So um, um, it's, it, was, it was striking to see that uh, uh, more than half the, the companies that participated to our survey still rely on uh, very highly on uh, uh, other revenues. And obviously the, the conference point, which, which I've already mentioned, uh, yeah. which is important to observe. Okay, and so what's, what's on the horizon for business intelligence and market research from IABM? What can we expect to see in the next few months? Um, we are gonna, we're going to publish um, the end user survey mm -hmm. and the industry trend survey after the... So that's, that's the, from IBC, using the end user yeah. data that's come from people that have attended IBC? Yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of new data yeah. um, compared to previous surveys. We, uh, we've, we've added new questions uh, on uh, OTT technology, for example, and on the transition to IP and UHD. 
Uh, so we hope that um, this research can uh, uh, clear some confusion on, on, the, on these subjects. Okay. Have you got any plans to do any more? I noticed you've done a regional report on the Mexican broadcast industry and you have your market intelligence quarterly digest that focus on key things. Yeah. Have you got any plans to do any more specialist reports? Uh, yeah, we have, we've, got to, uh, we've got plans to do um, a specialist report on, uh, on an African country okay. uh, as long as we, um, we manage to get research in that and uh, also um, obviously we, we plan to continue to do um, regional updates on uh, emerging markets uh, to, to keep our members updated. And just finally to end on a, on a positive note, on a, yeah. you had a word um, jumble in the st session yesterday relating to Brexit. Yeah. And um, just quickly, what are the, what's the general outlook? Are people, are people waiting to see what happens if the UK does leave when they trigger it? Or yeah. what's the general feeling? Uh, I think um, people are in a um, wait and see approach at the yeah. moment. I mean, most people see it, uh, most peop people that part participated to our Brexit survey see it uh, in negatively, but okay. there are a lot of people that, uh, that, that see Brexit as an opportunity as well. So uh, I think uh, nothing has happened in terms of uh, negotiations yet, but uh, Obviously, uncertainty plays a big role. Uh, for example, in delaying investment and mm -hmm. and uh, in um, obviously shaping exchange rates as well. And exchange rates have uh, a real effects, have real effects on uh, companies' accounts. Okay. So I mean, I think Brexit is uh, uh, is a relevant uh, uh, you know is a relevant thing for also for the brokers and media industry, but obviously less relevant than the internal dynamics that govern it. Yeah, okay. So exciting and interesting times ahead for the industry. Yeah, yeah, very Excellent. much so. Lorenzo, <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Thank you.